Hi, I'm Naomi from Nondora and today I'd like to talk about the Gypsy Witch fortune telling cards. Not about how to use this deck uh, originally, but more about how I like to use this deck. Because believe it or not, I use this deck daily. So when we look through the cards, you see a lot of cards uh, familiar from the Lenormand, like the book, the clover, the house, the key, the mice, the ring. However, a Gypsy Witch deck has way more cards than a Lenormand, because a Lenormand deck has only 36 cards, while a Gypsy Witch is just the same as a normal playing card deck. So there are more cards than a Lenormand card, but a Gypsy Witch deck contains a full Lenormand deck. So what you also see in the Gypsy Witch deck is that they also have a playing card associated with uh, the card. Uh, now in a Gypsy Witch deck, the Lenormand cards are not on the same playing card. So they have a different playing card association. Um, some people say that that makes the deck wrong, but it's just a completely different system originally. So just play with it. It doesn't really matter. So when we look at the cards, we have at the bottom a very basic print in basic colors. We have the playing card associated with the cards, and then we have the meaning on the sides. Now that's also where a lot of confusion happens with people, because um, they are a little bit different than what we use in the modern Lenormand. In the original Gypsy Witch style of reading, you use the near and far method of reading the cards. So if I make an example of a reading, you would have the lady in the middle, and I'm going to make a square around her. These cards will be near to the lady. I'm not going to use uh, the yoker. Um, it's not completely in frame, but you get the picture. These cards will be considered near the significator. So you would use the nearby meaning of the cards. So when you put a card then in the outer ring, that card will be considered far away from the significator. So that meaning will change into the far away meaning. So it's a little bit different than Lenormand, but believe it or not, there are cultures that read Lenormand exactly the same way as you should use the Gypsy Witch. But this is just an example on how it's originally used, but I'm going to show you now how I use the deck. So this is how I use the Gypsy Witch deck. Uh, every day I do my daily reading with a Gypsy Witch deck. Uh, I always carry one around with me. It's the deck that I always have uh, on me. And the reason is this. It is a more than complete Lenormand deck. Um, it has a full Lenormand deck in it, even though it uses a different playing card association. And you have a full set of playing cards. Now what that means to me is that I already have three different decks that I can play with. I have a Lenormand deck that I can play with, so I can just take all the Lenormand cards out. I can play with the Gypsy Witch deck, so I can use the far and near method if I would wish to, even though uh, most of the time I don't. Uh, I can use the Gypsy Witch in a Lenormand way that I read my Lenormand and just create meanings for the cards that are extra in this deck. And then we have the all the playing cards to play with, which I can choose to read as playing cards or as a minor minor arcana. And why I say minor minor arcana is because we are missing one of the court cards. So this is an example of how I do my daily reading. So I shuffle my cards and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the deck to, for one tarot card and two gypsy witch cards. So first I'm going to ask for my tarot card. I take that one and now I'm going to ask for two Gypsy Witch cards and the reason why I ask for two is because uh, if I read Lenormand style I like to work in pairs so I take that one and that one why not 
So when I take the first card, that was my tarot card, I the picture I will shove under the other cards. And I will read that one as the nine of cups. So immediately I know the feeling of the reading. Then when I turn my gypsy witch card, I have the key and I have the sheep herder. So I have the sheep herder here and for me the sheep herder is a card uh, of leadership and initiative. So I have the key and I have the sheep herder. So those two together means that the key is to take initiative. So when I look at the card at the top, the tarot card, I see that as a nine of cups. So that's for me at this moment a happy community because I'm doing this for a community. Uh, so if I turn those together, if I put them together right now, um, I have a happy community where the key for me is now to take initiative to show something which is funny because that's um, exactly what I'm doing here so if I want to show you how this looks uh, with a normal tarot card on the top I will show you now so if we take this card out and we put the tarot card in its place this is how the reading looks for me so we have the tarot card and we have the two gypsy witch cards which I choose to read as the Norman cards. So I'm going to show you now the cards that I always carry with me. Um, I have them in this uh, cigarette tin. These are the cards that are in there. So they're normal playing cards. And um, they have a marker on it where I wrote the Gypsy Witch uh, meanings on them. Uh, I did it in Dutch, so it might look a bit weird to you. But it's perfect because it's cheap. This deck is just for me one euro. And I have everything that a Gypsy Witch has. Of course, one of the downsides of using the deck as I'm showing right now is that if you want to use the playing cards as minor arcana you need to know your cards by heart so it's almost like a Marseille style deck you need to be able to read tarot like that so this is how it looks with my playing cards so for me this is one card so these three together is one card if I want to do a three card spread with the gypsy witch I make three of these groups so I make here a second group. So again, I have the five of cups. Then I pull a joker. So that means that the gypsy witch card has extra meaning. Again, that's how I do it. And then I have the pig. So for me, the lion is something that uh, leaves an impression of the day and on the joker. So it's very important. So it's something that maybe shocked me or even at least it's something that stick with me. And then of course uh, the pig I see as an investment or safe so I'm not going to go into the full reading right now but as you can see you can do easily a three card spread like this and um, I think it's a beautiful method of using uh, a gypsy witch deck and it's something that I've never seen someone else do it it's really something I came up with myself but this is how I use the deck so the beauty of the gypsy witch is that you have three cardomancy decks in one you have the Lenormand, the Gypsy Witch, and the Old White Man's fortune telling cards. The only thing that the Old White Man have that the Gypsy Witch doesn't have is the disease cards, but you can easily use a Joker for that. And then of course, you still have the playing card that you can use as a playing card or as a minor arcana. So as you can see, the Gypsy Witch deck is very versatile. You can use it many different ways. And I think it's such a shame that a lot of uh, card readers don't see that in the deck because I absolutely think it's a gem. Um, you can use it uh, the way it's meant to be used, but it also can lend itself for so much more than only the Gypsy Witch style. So there you have it, my personal view on the Gypsy Witch uh, deck. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye!